<laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Jessica, the book rock goddess. I'm sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> and this is Jade Artistic Word Lush, and we are here to do our Hot Topic Tuesday. Um, it's going to be taken from Book Rock Missy. We're going to link it to her because we're going to do this topic with her. Hers was what? Her book chat. For her book chat. And it's five books that um, you would take on a deserted island. There are five categories. I am making a six. I'm sorry. I feel like it needs to be there. So um, the first category is uh, that's mine. Uh, a book that you read and would like to read again, a book series, a childhood book, a book of your choice, and yeah, a book of your choice. And then the fifth one is a book that you haven't read but have been meaning to read and for a while. And my sixth book that I'm adding in is your favorite author, one of your favorite author's books. So um, we're going to get started, and I'm going to start with my favorite childhood book. Um, and mine is going to be The Best Love Doll. Um, I know it's not a chapter book. There were many chapter books that I read when I was younger that I loved, like Wizard of Oz being mainly one of them, and Alice in Wonderland. Um, but The Best Love Doll, I would have to say, is my favorite. Mom got me this when I was younger. She wrote me a note that says, To Jade, my beautiful little girl, I hope you can enjoy this book as much as I did growing up. Love, Mom. And this book is amazing. I have read it to my sister. Um, I love this book so much that I made sure it stayed in pristine condition. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's, it's really pretty. I love it. Yeah, it took me a while to find it, but I finally found it. I have um, read this um, two million times, and, I, and I'm pretty sure that when I have kids, I want to keep it nice so I can pass it down to them. Yeah, I finally found somebody who was publishing it. I mean, a ho um, somebody that could find it. Um, she may sound a little slow, but she was taking a nap yeah. a minutes ago. <laughs> so Yeah, I was so tired. Oh, I dozed off. Well, guess we had already filmed. <sighs> we had already filmed, and then um, we ended up. Uh, it doesn't matter what we already did. Okay, it just didn't work out. Yeah. So no. no. Yeah, it wasn't the sound quality was bad, so we're trying it again. So, anyways, one of my favorites, along with that one, but along my one of my all-time favorites as a child was the Secret Garden. By oh, I didn't tell you what mine was by. It's by Rebecca Caudill. <laughs> okay, and um, I absolutely love this book. It was by Frances Hodges, Frances Hodges, Hodgson, Hodgson, Burnett. I would say the name correctly, but yeah, it was this book is like really beat up, but it has like a lot of beautiful pictures in it. I just love it. It is like the artwork is gorgeous. But my grandmother got me this when um at a garage sale when I was a kid, and I've loved it ever since. And it's kind of abused, but I love it. And I'm gonna get another. We have another, another version. We can find it. Yeah, but I want the version from Barnes and Nobles because it's the cover on the Barnes and Nobles version. Is I want cool. the Alice and the Lilith Carol one too. Yeah, that would be pretty. But okay, the next one I got is um. Mm. I stop doing that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the book that I read that I would reread over and over and over again, and it's true, I've already read this five times, and I continue to want to read it. It is the most amazing. I'll probably read it when we go to Florida on the trip. Um, it's Burned by Alan Hopkins. This book is the exact reason why I love reading. Um, it evokes motion, emotions, and oh, it's just amazing. And it's got a beautiful love story in it. It makes you happy, and it makes you sad. It's just, it's got it all in here, and I love this book, and I will continue to read it forever. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think it's like the only book that I have rewrite except for Crank. Okay. One of my rereads is, I've already reread this a ton of times. Um, I've got it up audio, I've got all the books, um, I used to even have it in paperback, I have it on hardcover. It's City of Bones, um, the, Immor the Immortal Instruments, and I would like to get the, like, the, if I could find a bind up of all of it, so I could take the whole series in a bind up with me on the deserted island, because I absolutely love this, uh, this books. Love them, love them, love them. I love Jace. I love Clary, Simon, all of them. They're just awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. the next one is the series that you would take with you. Mine is Daughters of the Moon series. I would love to take these only because there are so many. And they are actually really good. I've read the first three books. 
left in the series. There are 13. I got 10 more to go. Technically, there's 16 because there's the Sons of the Dark, which are actually characters in this book. So, I can't wait to read all of them. And then you keep peeking with me because there's just so many. They're not very big. So. My series, I didn't bring it up, but everybody knows um, this series, and that is Harry Potter. And Harry I am, Cooper! Yes, I am totally, totally, totally addicted to Harry Potter. I love it, and I'm not ashamed to say I read fan fiction, Harry Potter fan fiction. I love it. I am uh, Pottermore. I'm just a big just Harry Potter Pottermore. geek. I'm just a big geek, and um, I just love it. Harry Potter is one of my favorite all-time books. So, okay. Next one be. is Reader's Choice, and I picked Slice of Cherry by Dia Reeves. Um, I am a big horror buff. I am a big fantasy. I'm not a big fantasy buff, but I am a major horror buff. And this mixes horror and fantasy in one, and it's a thick book. And I love this cover. Oh my god, I love I love the idea of the book. It's the Bone Saw Killer's Daughters, and it's just, it's awesome. So, can't wait. Alright, sorry, I'm reading it. Mine would be Kim Harrison's The Hollow Series, and Pale Demon, this is just one of the books in the series. It, she's got like one, one or two more books left in the series to go, and I am just totally, totally obsessed and in love with this series. Um... Yeah, I would take this, and sci the Science Fiction Book Club does a lot of bind-ups of it, so I would love to get it all in one big bind-up, and it was really funny because I'd like to get the Harry Potter in one big bind-up, but we were joking around that we couldn't find a bind-up that big because of how many pages Harry Potter was, and then she said something about they could do it like the thin pages. Um, like in the, you know, like they use in the Bible and stuff. And I said, oh, the Harry Potter Bible version. <laughs> and, and she is going to hell for that comment. <laughs> but I would love it. It would be like, you know, you can get like all the whole book and, you know, and the, all the whole series and like they did it that type Shakespeare. of a Bible-y type of a version on paper. Um, yeah. I don't care. It's like, okay. I love so the next Potter. one. And I love this in Misty's version. So it's next in the last um, books in Misty's version is uh, the books that you've been meaning to read. I haven't yet. Um, and that's I grabbed Ruined by Simone Alcalaz, which is the Ruined series. And it's How to Ruin a Summer Vacation, How to Ruin My Teenage Life, and How to Ruin Your Boyfriend's Reputation. I love Simone Alcalaz. I would love to have a bind up of all her books in one, but as sadly, we cannot do that. So. This is what I want. Say good thing. I'm going to answer the phone and I will do mine. My books, I have two. I would pick Nevermore by Kelly Cray, but I'm not sure if I would pick it for sure. I'm kind of a toss up between um, Department 19 by Will Hill or Nevermore by Kelly Cray. And the reason why I it's a toss up is because this is a series. And I don't know if I would want to be on a desert, a deserted island, without being able to finish the series. You know. So sorry about that. Our answer machine is super loud. But um, yeah. So I don't know if I would want to be stranded without being able to finish the series. And this one just looks awesome. It's a science fiction fantasy type of a book, and it just looks amazing. I'm a big science fiction fantasy buff. And this okay. one's about vampires, and just looks cake butt. So I would, I would take those. Okay, the next one, it, the, and which is the sixth category that I have added in is the favorite author, and I picked Maria V. <laughs> Maria V. Schneider's Inside Out series that I got to bind up. Um, I figured if I'm going to take an author book, I want my favorite author, and I want more than one book. So I'm taking the two books that go together, Inside Out and Outside In, by Maria V. Schneider. Okay, again, um, another book I would love to see in a bind-up, another series I would love to see in a bind-up and be able to take with me on the deserted island, but since I'm going to be on the deserted island with Misty already because she said we have to go together so that we can all share books, um, Misty's already bringing Pride and Prejudice and Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen is one of my all-time favorite authors and I would have brought her bind-up, but Misty's bind-up is cooler than mine because my bind-up only has three. 
of her books in it. It's got so. Pride, Prejudice, Emma, and Sense and Sensibility. Yes, so she's got all the other one, the whole bind up with all the collection. So I chose instead Cassandra Clare's um, Clockwork um, Angel. Oh, well, this is Clockwork Prince, and there's Clockwork Angel. And it's the Infernal Devices, so that I would have the Immortal Devices and the Infernal Devices. And they, if I could get them in bind up, that would make my day because I could do it through, through um, the science fiction book club. They tend to do that a lot. So hopefully All right. they will come out with that. Well, that's the book that we would take with us on the desert island. You, uh, I didn't. I don't. I lend. Uh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm the one who's tired here. <laughs> I, I'm just weird. Um, But you can watch ours and Misty's and you can make your own video. Let yeah, us know we'll link doing. it together. We'll, li we'll leave a link for Misty's down here, but we'll link the video to Misty's um, chat. So. Okay, and also, sorry, I cut me off. Um, we're doing a versus thing every month, once a month, and we would like you to weigh in your opinion. Uh, I think we want to do either vampires versus werewolves or mermaids versus fairies, and I kind of want to do mermaids versus fairies because vampires versus werewolves is done a lot, but if you guys want it, we will do it. Um, also, if you have a totally different category, you can add it in there, and because we're going to be doing once a month, so yours might be picked for next month, or something once or twice a month, so... Um, that's all I wanted to say, so I guess we'll see you in shortly in two minutes. Oh, yeah. We're doing our, uh, <laughs> our, our book haul. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, but the versus ones you can do various categories. We don't it care. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you guys want to see, because we don't mind doing contemporary versus paranormal or whatever. Creature, different creatures versus whatever. Guys versus girls. Whatever. Whatever you guys want, just let us know below. Um, if not, we will pick one for next week, Tuesday, and we will let you guys know. All right, so, bye. Bye.